A genogram is a visual map of your family line, used to identify patterns that you have inherited, both good and bad. This tool will help you recognize the patterns you want to break and the patterns you want to carry into the next generation. Let's begin with a basic genogram by mapping out three to four generations of our nuclear family. In the next video, we will include family additions such as remarriage or step family and add the symbols for relational patterns. Because of that, we recommend you start in pencil, then trace back over it in pen when you're done. To begin, write your father's name next to the square on the left-hand side of your genogram. If you're adopted, write your adoptive father's name or that of the primary male caregiver. On the right-hand side, write in your mother's name next to the circle. Then above your father's name, write in the names of your grandparents on your father's side. Then do the same for your grandparents on your mother's side. Underneath your parents, draw a line down for each of your siblings in your nuclear family. Draw a box for brothers and a circle for sisters. When you get to your name, draw an extra long line because you are the protagonist in your story. Now we have three generations. If you're married, draw a line from your name and write the name of your spouse. If you have children, write those names in as well. Finally, if you want to, add in your great-grandparents at the top. If, like me, you never knew your great-grandparents or you can't remember anything about them, you might need to call a family member to get more information. Watch the next video to fill in the relational patterns. From here, you can start to make connections between your life and those that have come before you. Because who we are has been shaped by where we come from.